And shall you shall use and on demand in applicant shall shall use in a on demand in a <coughs> and on demand FAA lighting system. Mm -hmm. Did you also have this trait the last sentence if you did as a layout? It talks in terms of the review shall consider you know, you're going to demand that the user that you need to strike the review considering the technical and economic feasibility. Is this your goal? Yes. Can you state your motion, please? I move to strike the words um, consider and evaluate the potential for and insert applicants shall use an on demand FAA lighting system. And strike the last sentence. <coughs> the review shall consider the technical and economical feasibility of using an on demand lighting system. Is there a support for Mr. Papenhagen's motion? I would support it. Motion Papenhagen support Isley. The item three be amended. By striking in the second sentence, striking consider and evaluate the potential for then of so that it would read applicant shall use an on demand FAA lighting example OCA system for the WEF, and in addition to that, review. Shall and also strike the review shall consider the technical and economical feasibility of using an on demand lighting system. Okay. Discussion. Hunter in motion asked me to have a command. Does anyone know? They come on, I don't know the exact distance, but uh, in such a period of time to allow a pilot and it's heading to alter its course so that they don't. Yeah, I understand that. <clears throat> how they work, man. How near does a flight have to be? Oh, within like a number of feet? I don't have that. I mean, half of my hand, man. Yeah. No, because I, I don't know if there's anyone here with pilot experience that would know what that distance would be, but I would imagine it would vary depending on the size of the aircraft. A 747 would require more room to turn than, you know, a, uh, a prop plane. Uh, but it's FAA approved. I don't know exactly what the, the distance is. The only reason I wondered was because we parked you know, most of the township. We were in a direct line of flight, about every 10 minutes or less. There's flights to go over, but I don't you know whether that height would have them running or not. I don't know. Good question, John. Uh, you still have your hand up? Yeah. I don't know exactly how much discussion we're supposed to have, so that's why I'm not sure. But if you get too much I don't know the distance know. in terms of how much notice a 747 has to have versus a Cessna. The problem with this amendment is that you can look on their website and they want to advertise that this is approved, but in fact it has not been applied on a wind farm in the United States. We're in favor of having to review it and consider the technical and economic feasibility as a special <coughs> as a special use permit. The Township Board and Planning Commission have significant latitude in approving the permit. If it's economically, technically viable, we're not opposed to it. But if it says that we have to use it and the FAA doesn't approve it, well, we can't comply with the order. It says a severability clause to address that. If you'd like to speak for the journey. Well, I've got another response to that as well. Well, one's it up right now. Larry? I don't know that system. I'm familiar with the county airport. Our lighting system is activated by pilots. And on their, and I'm not a pilot, but when they're flying in the area, uh, when they, they have to call in, or they have the ability to activate the lights. So you'll have a dim light, and it will get brighter as they get closer. But that's activated by the pilot. They have a number they call that does that. 
I don't know if that's how they, I don't know this system, I'm not going to speak on that. Josh, um, while Mr. Bullock may be correct, I'm not certain as to whether or not there's been a deployment of the system in the United States, it has been deployed on a wind complex in Canada. Uh, I did see that today on OCAS's website. And like I said, they also announced that they've been uh, acquired by Vestas. So integrating these into their system should be minimally, uh, you know, a minimal hassle at best. And the statement that if the FAA doesn't approve it, they couldn't comply with it, the severability clause in your ordinance would allow them to not comply with that uh, and still maintain the integrity of your ordinance. Last comment. Mr. Lutter? Uh, I, uh, I looked at the website and it hasn't been that. The language, and I talked to John about it too. That's why we put that language in there. So that we have some latitude. And uh, just a reminder that, that it is a special use for that. We do have, I, I feel, as though we do have some power. Indeed. Discussion from the board? We have a motion on the floor to amend item three by striking a few words in the last sentence. For the discussion, all in favor of the amendment, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. aye. The motion fails. We're back <coughs> to A123 and 4 with a minor amendment on item two. Can Kirk Meyer refresh my memory? Were there other amendments on item two? Or excuse me, on, on one, two, three, or four? No. Back to the original motion as amended to approve A, one, two, three, and four with a minor amendment on two. Further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Section 5, 2, item 5. We have a minor amendment, uh, a possible amendment that would strike county roadways and insert public right-of-ways. I believe public right-of-ways, you know, the only, it would strike county roadways and insert an S on the end of public right-of-way, make it right-of-ways. I move that item, excuse me, section A, item five, be approved with the striking of county roadways and inserting an S on the end of public right-of-ways, right-of-way to make it right-of-ways. Is there support? Support. Okay. Motion Isley, support Terry. Section 52A, paragraph 5. Be approved with the amendment of striking county roadways and inserting an S after right of way to make it right of ways. Discussion? Seeing none, all members say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries.
item B, setback, separation, and security. <coughs> and we need to change inhabited structure structure to habitable structure. And probably a couple places. <coughs> Dwelling unit. Frank, in this paragraph, a number of times, for example, we have participating parcel owners. Should parcel be capitalized also high, down here, one and a half times the total height? Should that be capitalized as well? That would be lower case. Right here. Seems minor to me. Yeah, it, it should be a, a lower case touch. <laughs> okay. So that I think we can uh, address before our final approval. that in section B, paragraph 1, that anywhere it says inhabited should be habitable, and dwelling unit also be changed to habitable structure. Is there support? Support. Motion I to support ball. Mm -hmm. that item B, paragraph 1, inhabited be struck and replaced with the word habitable, and dwelling unit be struck and replaced with habitable structure in each place in that paragraph. Is there discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Also, I now move that section B, paragraph 1, be adopted as amended. Support. Motion Isley, support Terry. That section B, paragraph 1, be adopted as amended. Discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Chair calls for division. All in favor, raise your right hand. Opposed? Motion carries.
paragraph 2. I'd like to amend the property line. Okay. 